Calvin Elizabeth here, a wedding photographer and bridal boutique owner based in San Diego. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to include someone in your wedding without making them a bridesmaid or a groomsman. So there are actually a lot of ways that you can include somebody in your wedding without making them a bridesmaid or groomsman. So having them be in your actual bridal party. So I'm going to be detailing just some of the ways you can do that. I'm sure there are ways that I cannot think of that are actually out there. So if I can't come up with an idea that you guys have thought of, please be sure to list them in the comments to help some other people out. So if there's something I haven't thought of and I haven't said in this video, put it down below. So the first one that I have thought of is a pre-wedding thing. So you can actually ask somebody if they would like to host a shower for you. So this is usually I feel like showers are thrown for the women in the wedding. So like a bridal shower, but there are definitely showers for grooms these days. I feel like they're typically involved with the bride, so it's kind of like a bride and groom shower, but maybe there are some showers purely thrown for grooms. I don't really see them that often, but maybe they do exist. But most of the time, I would say that I see showers being thrown for the women, um, but you could totally ask somebody as a groom to throw a shower for you, and maybe they'd be more than happy to do that. So it could even be a luncheon, maybe not like a shower where you're being showered with gifts, but maybe like a luncheon. You could ask them to throw you some sort of a luncheon or something like that. So something to celebrate the fact that you're getting married. So ask them to host an event for you. That could be something really lovely to help include them in the wedding without them being a bridal party member. Now the next one is kind of a big deal and that could be to ask them to officiate your wedding. You'll need to make sure that they get ordained in the actual state where you're getting married. So if you're not getting married in the state where you live or where that person lives, they need to get ordained in the state where you will be getting married. Um, if you're getting married internationally, I'm not sure how that will work. So you'll need to look that up. So they might have to get ordained in the country where you're getting married. So you will make sure that you need to research this because I am not versed in all of the different countries and how this works. But I know in the United States, you have to be ordained in the state where the couple will be getting married. Now, if it is a young person or I don't know, people have done this with grandmas too. You could have them be a ring bearer or a flower girl. I have actually seen people make their 20 or 30 year old friends a ring bearer or a flower girl. So you could totally make this person that. Um, so they're not a bridesmaid or a groomsman, they're a ring bearer or a flower girl. So maybe age doesn't matter when it comes to that kind of position. It could just be kind of ironic that they're older and they're in this position. Uh, they could totally have fun with it. I think asking them to be this kind of position, you really have to make sure that they're the kind of person who would love that and it wouldn't be insulting to them. So if somebody asked me to be that, I would not appreciate that. But if your friend would absolutely love that, then maybe that's the right thing for them. Another thing you could include them in during the ceremony is ask them to do a reading. So something that's special to you, or you could ask them to come up with it on their own. Um, so make sure that they know you really well so that they don't choose something that's totally not going to represent who you are. So like, for example, if you're not at all a religious person, make sure that they're not going to just choose something that's like a religious reading. So they need to know who you are and know what your beliefs and your ideals are so that they're going to choose something that's really on par with your personality. So you're just gonna have to think about somebody who would know and respect your beliefs, ideals, your personality, your history as a couple so that whatever the reading they're gonna choose fits everything about you. So you could ask them to do a reading and that would be really lovely. Or maybe they're uh, musical and you could ask them to sing a song or play guitar or something like that. So you could include them musically in your wedding to have them sing something or play something. Another thing you could have them do, which is a little bit more small of a role, you could have them be an usher. So you could have them help people to their seats at the beginning of the ceremony. Again, this is a really small role, but maybe if they are um, not like a super close friend, but you want to include them in a really small way, you could have them be an usher and make them feel a little bit important organizing people on the day of the wedding. And this is something that you could have them do for you. Now during the reception, one thing you could have them do is do a toast. Typically, and again, typically, is something that is always been done, but you don't have to do it. So I am always for doing things that feel right to you, not just because that's what 
they've been done in the past for weddings. So always break the rules. Like you don't have to follow what's been done and what's been typically done. Typically for weddings, it's usually members of the bridal party or parents who do the toast at weddings, but you can totally break the rules and you can have somebody else who's not a member of the bridal party do a toast for you. So if there's somebody that you want to include in the wedding who's not a maid of honor or best man or parent do a toast, by all means, you can have them do a toast, especially if you think that they would be a great public speaker. I would not recommend this if you think they're going to be a horrible public speaker and it's gonna be a really chaotic, disastrous toast. So it's really all about for the toast, choosing people who are great public speakers because really I've seen some really awful toast during weddings and it can get really awkward and really uncomfortable. So personally for me, if I was designing like the perfect toast for weddings, I would not go the traditional route of, okay, it's gotta be the maid of honor, it's gotta be the best man, and then the parent, blah, blah, blah. I would go based on who is going to give the best toast, who is going to be the most comfortable speaking, who has got the best history, who has got um, the most comfort speaking in front of people and can really speak to our relationship and our history the best. That is how I would design it because they're going to give the most entertainment. They're gonna give the most touching speech. That is the way that I would do it because I am all about giving the best experience. That's just the way that I see it because I don't feel like having to go that traditional typical route of this person gives it and this person gives it and that's the way it has to be done. I don't think that you have to do it that way because what if those people are gonna clam up the most? What if they feel the most uncomfortable giving a public speech and they're gonna do the worst job. <laughs> like if you think about it that way, you don't have to make those people suffer in front of the crowd. Maybe they don't really wanna do it, but they feel like they have to because those roles traditionally have to do the speech. You can let them sit back and enjoy the toast while somebody else who might be the better speaker, who you can include in the wedding who's not a bridal party member, gives an, a killer toast that everybody in the crowd absolutely loves. You can go about it that way and it can just be an absolutely amazing experience for everybody all around. And then maybe those bridal party members who didn't really want to give that toast, who might not give even a good speech, a memorable speech whatsoever, they can sit back and relax and not feel that pressure of having to give the toast that wasn't going to be very good in the first place. And then the last idea that I had was you could have um, this person host a game. So I, I think I've talked about in one of my more recent-ish videos, reception entertainment ideas. So if you guys go watch that video next, um, one of the things I talk about are a couple of games. So for example, the shoe game where the couple has each other's shoes and the host of that game um, asks certain questions like, who is the better cook? And then the couple has is back to back and they hold up the shoe of the person who's the better cook. So the host of that could actually be that person that you want to include. So if you want to include your friend Susie, you ha can have your friend Susie host the game or whatever game you want to play. So you can have that friend hosting the game. So that could be another really great way to include somebody in your wedding so that you have them included without them being a bridesmaid or a groomsman. So those are just the ideas that I had on ways to include your friend or your family member, whoever in the wedding um, without them being a bridal party member. Of course, some other things you can do or have them um, help you plan certain parts of the wedding. Maybe you have them uh, assembling some wedding invitations. Those are like little menial tasks that you can have them do, but most of this video has focused on more impactful wedding day involvement. So hope you guys enjoyed my ideas. Again, if there's something that I did not say in this video, Video, be sure to leave it down in the comments below to just give a couple more ideas to anybody looking for ways to include people in the wedding without it being a bridesmaid or groomsman. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys next time. Bye!